In this video tutorial, we are going to solve the given cubic equation by a real simple factoring method. So let's look at our cubic equation. As you can see, among these three terms, there's something is common. Isn't it? X is in common, so I'm going to factor that one out. So what is going to be inside the parentheses? So inside parentheses is going to be what? X squared plus what? 4X minus 21. That is equal to 0. So let's now factor out this. Uh, this is a quadratic now part, isn't it? So how you factor this one, so we're going to go ahead and take care of this thing. That's really simple. So you put down x and x right up here. Now you see 21. What are the possible factors for 21 is what? 3 times 7. So if you add or subtract, so what numbers is going to be? It's going to be a positive 7 and negative 3, isn't it? Really simple, negative and then we have x outside equal to what? 0. So now let's go ahead and split them up. So x equal to 0, x plus 7 equal to 0, and x minus 3 equal to what? 0. So that's our very first solution. And that's going to give us x equal to negative 7. That is another solution. And that's going to give us x equal to positive 3. That is our third solution. So thus, our given solution set is what? 0, negative 7, and 3. And that is our answer. So the next step is we want to check our answer whether the, our given solution that we found out they are the correct ones. So that's this part is really easy. What I want you to do is add all these three solutions. Okay. So I want you to put down 0 plus negative 7 plus 3 and they must be equal to minus b over a. Now you might be wondering what is minus b over a, what is a and what is b. In our given original uh, equation, cube equation, we have what x power 3 could be written as 1x power 3 plus 4x square minus 21x and there is another missing term. I'm going to just put down 0 equal to 0. So in this case, 1 is our what? A, positive 4 is our B, negative 21 is our C, and 0 is our D. So that means minus B over A in this case is going to be how much? Minus, and B is what? Positive 4 over A is what? 1, that's going to give you negative 4. So that means minus b over a turns out to be what? Negative 4. And on the left hand side, if you simplify negative 7 plus 3, that's going to give us negative 4 as well. Are they now both sides are same? Yes, they are. So that means indeed our answer is check. That means our given solutions are the correct ones. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.